Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for joining. Uh, today we're going to go over a nice, slow, fun, easy tune. Uh, a little Slow Ready by Goose. Um, fortunate enough to have had a chance to finally see them live uh, this past New Year's break. Uh, they came to Cincinnati, so we went to the Friday night show. It's fantastic. Uh, if any of you out there are on the fence about this band, highly, highly recommend checking them out if they're anywhere close enough to you that you feel comfortable enough traveling to. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of shows this spring, a lot of festivals this summer. Um, they're awesome. You, you will have you will have a great time. I highly, highly recommend checking them out. It's a lot of fun. Great tunes. Um, crowd was fantastic. It was it was awesome. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and go over "Slow Ready." Relatively straightforward song. Um, I will just break down the chords and a little bit of the rhythm here. As always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Let's hop in. All right, so slow ready. We're gonna start here. Uh, we don't have too many chords in this song. Uh, we've got a we've got an F, A minor, G. Uh, there's a C and an E seven and an E. E. <laughs> uh, and those are those are the only chords. Um, in the main main part of the song here. So start with the intro, which is back and forth between an F and an A minor. Um, and as I've been watching uh, some videos, um, it seems like Rick is always playing his Fs and Gs kind of like this in that um, that easy bar chord way. Um, maybe he saw my video on how to play bar chords an easy way and stole it. Probably not. Actually, definitely not. But um, anyway. All right, so we're gonna start on this F. So instead of barring the F, um, I mean, you can bar it if you want to, but I think he's doing it here. He's got the index finger on that uh, first fret of that B. So we're gonna play that F. And the intro, you know, it's a, it's a slow song. Um, so what I like to do for these types of songs, especially when you're playing by yourself, um, play the chord. Just try to find a place where you can kind of do a little pull off. So I'm pulling off here this middle finger, which is on the second fret of the uh, G. So, to an A minor, and I'm pulling off um, middle finger here, which is on the second fret of the D. And then before you go back to uh, the F, kind of a little walk down to get to it. So second fret open uh, all on that D string back to the F okay I think they just do that twice and then um, <clears throat> and the uh, the verse starts with, starts with the F as well so end of that kind of first pass you'll get a F G F to start the next uh, lyric section so back to your A minor back to your G back to the F here and then leading into the chorus um, this walk down here okay and you can play your a minor here if you want to as well i think it flows a little bit better walking it down from this bar a here so all right so now you're in the chorus here starting on that f to a c to an e7 um, and when I'm playing that uh, index finger here on the fourth fret, or fourth fret, first fret of the G, and middle finger on the second fret of the A. So that's your E7. 
back to the F. A minor, G, F, and then E. And that closes out, uh, closes out the verse, and or closes out the chorus there. And you just go do it again. Well, there's, I guess there's the, uh, you know, an another kind of uh, instrumental section. And then you go back into it and play it again. Um, but yeah, I love this song. This is just a beautiful, beautiful song. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, you know, so if you're if you're new to new to some bar chords and things like that, this is a really good one uh, to to get started on. So, so I hope this helps you guys out. Um, please leave me feedback, comments below, and uh, yeah, see you guys again soon. Mm -hmm.